Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to bring you some lip swatches and these are the new Avon Matte Lipstick. I don't know what the actual name of them are, I just know that the, the new matte lipsticks and they are claiming they are better than MAC Matte. I have one on now and I'm going to um, do the lip swatches after this, um, you know, following this, just do some more. But this one is Superb Wine. It's absolutely stunning. I'm shocked and I'm, do you know what I should have done? I should have bought a mirror, hold on. I can't see without a mirror. So um, just looking in the mirror now because it makes it a bit easier. They are definitely matte. They're not satin. They are not drying. Now I'm, although I um, do Avon, I always give an honest opinion. If I don't like something, I will say because I want to find the best of the best, whatever brand it is. And um, I now will have the capability to sort of sell the things that I like and um, you guys can order them from me, which is, is actually really helpful. Um, so the ones that I, I thought I'd give these a try because although I don't really like matte lipsticks, Bizarrely, I really like a good creamy satin. I thought I'd give these a go. Matte lipstick, they've always been so dry on me. Um, matte lipsticks as well, um, MAC lipsticks, M-A-C. Um, I find them quite drying, but these, I'm just so surprised. I want to say I know how long they're going to last. That I can't tell you. Mm, this one is such a pretty color. It's a very deep, purpley, burgundy color like an aubergine and actually although I would never have picked it from this sort of look at it it looks almost black there um, I'm really pleased that I chose to try this one I have one two three four five six seven colors in the range but I believe there's about 20 so I have chosen the ones that I think I will like or a lot of them are actually very similar colors which is a shame um, but I've chosen the ones I like I don't really tend to lean towards the corals so you won't see any here um, but yeah this is superb wine. So in order to sort of keep my lips from going awfully sore, I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest. Yes, I had a dark, the darkest one on, but i had done that with the look that I've produced today. So um, this is Eau Naturelle, which is a nudie color. I think it slightly leans towards the brownie nude, so I would have to look again. Uh, yeah. This is not a good colour for me. I say it's not a good colour. It's sort of making my teeth go a bit yellow. It leans too much towards the brown and the, the coral. Um, it's too much of a peachy nude for me. So um, that I wouldn't probably wear. Still very nice formula though. Not patchy. It does make my teeth yellow. Next up, we have Splendidly Fuchsia. Of course, I was gonna to have to pick a fuchsia color. Uh, mm, they're so creamy. That's a very bold color. Um, but although it's fuchsia, it's not like candy yum yum neon. It's it's really pretty. Mm, this one has gone a bit patchy, but like before, I think I've left some cleanser on my lip. So I am going to have to dry it down. That is pretty though. Really pretty colour. And it's not as cool toned as a pink I would use. It definitely has an element of coral in there. So it leans towards the coral. I think this would suit quite a number of skin tones. So definitely one to, to check out. Splendidly Fuchsia. Next up is Adoring Love. Sort of similar to the last one. I feel like this may have been lighter actually. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, this is a gorgeous raspberry shade oh well done there for getting lipstick all over your face <laughs> oh my goodness right let me use a clean finger that will not do 
uh, this is a much more wearable mid-tone pink it looks it's coming off really bright on camera but I have to say it is really nice it's definitely rosy I thought it'd be cooler tone but it's not it's a rosy mid-tone raspberry pink definitely on the berry side of pink and I really really like that it's definitely a Leah colour in fact it is giving my teeth a white hue so there must be some blue undertones to that but I I really really like that one adoring love Now we go on to almost the ready colour and we've got Ravishing Rose. So it's like a deep pinky red. These are so comfortable. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, this is a very wearable sort of red. It's not a true red by any means. I've got a runny nose again. Um, it's a lovely, lovely colour. I don't understand the rosiness. Maybe because it's a red with a pinky undertone. Definitely a pinky red. Um, really pretty. Makes my teeth white. Um, mm. So beautiful. Coming up to the last two, and the one before last is Ruby Kiss. This is a red. Again, I think there's a slight pink undertone. Definitely cool toned red. Yeah. The formula doesn't change from one to the other. This is just a deeper tone from the one before, but I feel like they're very similar. This is definitely cool toned. It is def it's not a true red by any standards. I haven't picked up a sort of tomato-y red, um, but that's because I don't think I suit them. Um, I don't think this works with the eye look particularly well, but we're sort of just playing around. It is a very pretty color. All of them, the formulas are very comfortable. I don't feel like they're drying out my lips per se, but they feel comfortable once they're on. Um, I'm really excited to try the next one, but this is this has, yeah, th this has impressed me. These lipstick have impressed me because I've tried some of their other matte formulas before and I just didn't like them at all. I didn't feel like they were matte enough um, and I felt like they just worked, they just didn't work. They sort of layered, a, they were, it was like putting paint on the lips. It was just not very nice. So I'm quite excited about these ones. Okay, the lips are getting redder, but this is the last one. And this is Wild Cherry. And it's like a black cherry. And oh gosh, I'm so excited to try this one. Yeah. Oh, I love it. This has got to be my favourite. This is stunning. Um, it's very similar to the Superb Wine one, but this is a lot redder. The other one, the Superb Wine one was much more purplier. purplier. Um, I love this. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It's The lipsticks are stunning. I love it. I think it goes really well with this eye look, even though that this is quite a bold eye look. Um, I'm going to keep this on really for the rest of the day, I think. I want to sort of test out and I might come back and tell you how long this has lasted. I'm going to be doing some videos with Claire now where I'm trying American candy. So you'll see how long this lasts through eating. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see how long this lasts. I don't know what the time is now. Um, I don't have a clock anywhere, I don't think. Let me just see if I can find out. Uh, it's, right, it's two o'clock now and um, I might do some check-ins later so that you get an idea of how long these have lasted. Take care, everybody. Um, yeah, I think I'll end it later. So see you soon. Bye.